Solving Equations, Lesson C Notes, Example Number 5. Each one of these problems is a division problem. See how I've got division? That looks like a fraction. Fraction is a division problem. Fraction bar and the division bar are the same thing. It looks like a fraction. It's a division problem. So if each of these are a division problem, I'm going to use the inverse to division, which would be multiplication, to solve. Inverse operation would be to multiply. So I want to get the m by itself. I have to get rid of this 5. And the opposite of dividing by 5, or the inverse of dividing by 5, would be, would be to multiply both sides by 5. Use parentheses to show your multiplication. Use parentheses to show your multiplication. All right, that allows me to cancel out the 5s. I can isolate the m. The m is all by itself. And 1.3 times 5 is 6.5. All right, what if you wanted to check your answer? Well, to check this answer, you would plug that 6.5 in for the m. In other words, in your calculator, you would put 6.5 over 5, and you would see if you get 1.3. Always check your answers. Always check your answers. There's no reason whatsoever to miss any questions, because when you have an equation, you can always check your answer. Okay, for b. I want to isolate the x by getting rid of this negative 10. The inverse would be to multiply by negative 10. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 10. So that cancels out these 10s. Negative 10 times negative 3. Well, 10 times 3 is 30. Keep the equal signs lined up. Bring down my variable. Since there are an even amount of negatives, my answer will be positive 30. For C, I want to get rid of the 5. I isolate the H by getting rid of the 5. So the inverse operation would be to multiply both sides by 5. Once again, use parentheses to show your multiplication. So my 5's cancel. Bring down my variable, keep my equal signs lined up. 5 times 10 is 50. There is one negative sign, an odd amount of negatives means my answer is negative. Okay, that was A through C. Pause your video, do D, E, and F on your own. Pause your video, do D, E, and F on your own. Okay, D. I want to isolate the W. I need to use the inverse operation by multiplying both sides by negative 3.2. Multiply both sides by negative 3.2. Again, we're using parentheses to show our multiplication. So they can't, my three point, negative 3.2s cancel. Bring down my variable. Keep the equal signs lined up. 5 times negative 3.2. Well, 5 times 3.2 is 16. And because there's one negative, that means my answer will be negative 16. For E, I'm dividing by 3, so the inverse would be to multiply both sides by 3. Allows me to cancel out the threes, bring down my variable, keep my equal signs lined up. 5.4 times 3 is 16.2. There's one negative, so my answer will be negative. Last question. I want to isolate the, the x by getting rid of the negative 11, so the inverse would be to multiply both sides by negative 11. Multiply both sides of the equation by negative 11. So my 11's cancel. The variable starts on the right, so it stays on the right. 11 times 7 is 77. There are two negatives, so my answer is positive. All right, that is it for example five. If you have 
any questions on um, using multiplication as the inverse to division, let me know.